Hello and welcome to this Corgi Engine tutorial. I'm Renaud from Our Mountains and today we're going to see how we can install the Corgi Engine. So the first thing you want to do is bring up Unity Hub, click on New to create a new project, name that however you want, put it in the location that you want. I would suggest to stick to uh, 3D but you can of course create something with uh, HDRP or LWRP. Just know that uh, the demos are created for 3D. The engine itself will run on, on whatever RP you want. It doesn't uh, focus on rendering anyway, so uh, it will work everywhere. So uh, we'll stick to 3D. Uh, we've selected our name, our location. We click on Create, and then we wait. Once your new project is open, you can just go to the Asset Store, uh, go to the Corgi Engines page, Click on update if you haven't updated yet. At some point this will bring up this window. Uh, you can just leave it everything checked and click on import here. Once the import is complete, you can see that you have a number of errors, most of them referencing Cinemachine or post-processing. This at this stage is completely normal. So what you want to do is go into the folder where you installed uh, your project, go into Assets, Corgi Engine, and copy uh, your manifest. So you Control c or you right-click and copy. And you want to go back to this, so the root of your folder. And you go into Packages, and then uh, you Paste, replace the file, go back into Unity, let that thing resolve itself. If at some point you get uh, a prompt to update APIs, you just click on I made a backup, go ahead. And once import is finished, you can see you don't have errors anymore. You can clear the remaining ones. They are just Unity telling you it fixed a bunch of stuff. And then you can go into uh, any of the demos. So let's go, I don't know, this one, this one. And you can now press play. now enjoy the Corgi engine. So this is the easiest way to install the Corgi engine. Uh, it might get trickier if you decide to, for example, install the Corgi engine on a version that is not yet supported by the engine. So to know what version is supported, you can just go to the engine's website, uh, corgiengine.momontains.com. You go to releases. There you can see uh, all the releases to this date. And if you click on the last one, for example, uh, 6.0, you can see it requires Unity 2019.2.1 F1 or more. Um, if you go with uh, Unity 2019.3, uh, it may ask you to update your packages or to install them manually. So uh, it's actually quite easy. All you, can ha all you have to do is go into Window, Package Manager, and there you'll have a bunch of packages to install you can just select the one you want and in the list so in our case that would uh, you would need Cinemachine and the post-processing stack which is here uh, so right now they are installed of course but if you decide to install them manually you will have an install button right here and you just have to click it and that's pretty much it. Uh, the other thing to know regarding install is that if you are upgrading your project uh, using, for example, the 5.5 of the engine and moving to 6.0, you want to make sure you first remove the whole Corgi engine folder. So you get all the new files, you don't get duplicates, you don't get conflicts. That's all you have to know about the install. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.